Today I wanted to talk about the difference between drift roses and flower carpet roses. Both of these roses are considered ground cover roses and they're both um, similar in that they are kind of like a brand and name of um, low maintenance, um, easy to grow um, ground cover roses. So with both roses being um, easy care or easy maintenance, they're similar in that they both don't require deadheading, um, they don't require as much pruning as a regular rose, and um, in my opinion, the pests are about the same on both. So in that aspect, they are both quite similar, but I do find them to grow and um, even their buds, their flowers, to perform pretty differently. With both roses being relatively low maintenance, I think the difference is going to come down to um, what you prefer or what you need in your garden. So I actually do have a drift rose and a flower carpet rose growing right next to each other. So in this video, I am going to show you how they look um, next to each other and how they perform. I am here in Phoenix, so I will tell you how it does in the um, hot, dry heat. Um, I do think one may like the heat more than the other, but they both do um, pretty well here in Phoenix. I picked both my drift rose and my flower carpet rose up here at a local nursery called Barrage. Uh, they do have both of these roses available to purchase um, in store. And I do know that the drift roses are available to purchase like um, online at like a Lowe's or Home Depot.com. I have not seen them so much in store in stock but you can order it and have it delivered online and so these are both different kind of like I guess brands of roses you could call them so um, with the drift rose they do have like its own website and it has um, a multitude of different colors under the drift that all grow under the drift rose name um, the same thing with the flower carpet rose they have um, a bunch of different colors and options but they're all um, considered a flower carpet. So if you are looking for a particular color, you could go and look and see what they've got um, under each variety. They will be pretty similar in that they've got, you know, pinks, reds, yellows, so, um, but they do look a bit different. So you can um, look at each individual and see if there is a particular rose that you like um, the color of the best. So I do have these two growing side by side next to each other so we can take a look and see how they perform. Um, I do have uh, several of the flower carpet roses so I can show you um, kind of the difference um, in the different flower carpet roses um, and versus this drift rose here. So here I have on the left, I have my coral drift rose and on the right is a peach flower carpet rose. Um, they're side by side with one another. So I think the big difference that you can see right away is the difference in the blooms and the way the flowers um, are grouped. This coral drift tends to put on really large clusters of blooms. You can see all the buds here together. Um, you can see here what they look like open. They're very tightly grouped um, and they open pretty much all at once or uh, together making it look like there's just very very large clusters of blooms all over the rows. So you can see all of this new growth, you can see all of the little buds that are ready to open. You can also see the way these flowers look. Um, these ones are double, and they kind of look like little pom-poms, I think. Um, they're just, they're mini little roses, and again, growing in one big, cute little cluster. So the way these flower carpet um, roses are is they're a little more spaced out with the buds. Um, and I don't really think they open all together like the drift rose. They kind of open more singly. So here, even though there's a big grouping of them, they kind of appear a little bit more independent. They're not right up 
next to one another like the drift roses. Um, this one has a double petal. I think it opens and looks slightly different than the drifts. This looks more like a flower, I think, and the drift rose kind of looks like a scrunchy pom-pom. <laughs> So for the drift roses, I have a video where I helped Linda out in Chandler. Um, we planted some drift roses for her. She had the lemon, I believe, and the peach drift rose. And they perform very similarly, look very similar to this coral rose that I have here. I do think for, as far as color goes in the heat, the coral probably keeps the color the best for the drift roses here in Phoenix. Um, not to say the other ones weren't um, unique and beautiful on their own, but I do think the coral is the most vivid out of those three. If you do want to see how the peach drift looks, their blooms look, I will put a link to that video I filmed with Linda so you can see it. But overall, I did want to mention that they grow and perform about the same as far as the bush goes. The drift rose does become susceptible to powdery mildew when it is in between weather. I think once it starts warming up and you need to water more, but it's not super hot yet, it will get a little bit of powdery mildew. Um, this rose did have it. You can see here on this foliage that it kind of curled the foliage, um, which for me is, is not a big deal, the powdery mildew. Is, is really not of any big concern here. Um, again, once it warms up, it, it goes away. You can also spray it with an antifungal pretty easily. So the drift is more susceptible than the flower carpet for, for that powdery mildew. I do find that with these two side by side, the drift rose does bloom earlier than the ground, than the flower carpet rose. And it also does bloom later into the summer heat here in Phoenix. So I do think that this drift rose, especially the coral, will um, bloom longer. It may be a little hard to show on camera, but this little drift rose is not very tall. It is considered a ground cover rose and it does keep its shape very low to the ground. And it does grow outward more than up, so it does keep the ground cover growth pattern to it. So I would say this is probably about what 18 inches maybe two feet in height if even. And here next to it you can see the flower carpet rose. This actually is growing more up than it is wide. Now I do have three of these flower carpet flower carpet roses in my garden. Um, they're all three different colors and they all three grow a lot different. So I do obviously have this peach flower carpet and I have the red and the pink as well. Out of all three, this one struggled the most, I believe, with the heat. Um, it is kept, it is the smallest out of the three. I've had it about two years. It does grow out as well. Obviously it is supposed to be a ground cover type rose, but I do find that it gets much taller than the drift sitting next to it. And you can kind of tell probably more with this angle. Now this giant rose, this big mess of greenery behind it, this is also a flower carpet rose. This is the red, I believe it's the scarlet one. This one has grown quite large. Um, you can tell the, the size difference is quite obvious compared to the um, peach one I was just showing you. So this rose to me grows more like a bush, like a wild rose bush. Um, you can see it is the red one. This um, red rose, this red Flower carpet rose is taller than the hybrid tea rose next to it, and it is taking up quite a wide area. But if you do need to fill in a larger area, this will probably do it. This is getting quite large. So here I have my other flower carpet rose. This one is the pink one. 
Um, you can see it's pink. Here's the flower. So this one I find quite different. I find all of the three different colors quite different even though they are the same flower carpet brand rose. This one grows almost like a low, um, like a low growing vine. Um, you can see I have it trained up here on this bridge almost like it is a vine rose, just very low to the ground. So this is basically the center of the rose where I planted it. Um, it hasn't really filled in much, but you can see following this cane here, it does like to grow out almost like a vine. And um, it does have some clusters here. So those are the differences that I have found between growing the drift rose and the flower carpet rose. Um, if this was helpful, please do subscribe.